Greetings, welcome to So Much To Talk About, Biggie's Media Day 2011-2012. My pleasure to have once again uh, on the show. He's a regular uh, fixture on So Much To Talk About. Yeah, uh, nice to be here. One of the top players in the Biggie's, Mr. Chris Joseph, Syracuse Orange. Favorites to uh, win the conference. How are you today? Good, man. I'm feeling great. Big East Media Day is always a pleasure, man. You get to see a lot of your, you know, your friends before they become your enemies. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And then they become your enemies even during the exactly, media day. Exactly, you know. So it's just a great, it's just a great opportunity to be here, and you know, good to see all the familiar faces again. Though I, I appreciate, you know, it's an honor to be here for me. Yeah, well, that's, that's awesome. And, and you're going into your senior year, your yeah, last season. my last season. Um, you know, how how are you looking forward to relish the leadership role, just like you did last year? But how how much have you learned more as a leader? Um, you know, I learned that, you know, everything is not about just basketball. I got to lead my guys off the court as well as on the court. And I got to lead by example. You know, um, I got to do things like get guys in the weight room after practice or get them to get shots up after practice. Just anything to better themselves, but at the same time, better our team. You know, by getting extra shots up, you're not hurting anybody, you know, but you're only helping yourself and you're helping our team. So things, just the little things, um, being more vocal. Because that that definitely goes a long way, you know. When you you can't be a silent leader, you know, especially not at this level. And I think that I learned that this past season, um, you know, taking take example, Rick, for example, you know, he was a really vocal leader for us during practice, during timeouts, and um, you know, his his opinion, he voiced his opinion, and guys took it in stride, and they took it as constructive criticism, and that's one thing that I need to do is just uh, you know be more vocal with my guys when things aren't going as planned. Wow, and uh, how is Rick doing? Because I was shocked that he wasn't drafted. I, I think um, was you, you and I both, you know, I was really shocked. Um, but he's doing great. He's in France right now. Okay. Uh, and he's doing really well. You know, still the double-double machine that he was when he was here last year. So I'm just happy to, uh, to know that he's doing well out there. Yeah, he'll, he'll make his way back. Oh, you know, yeah, he'll, he'll definitely. definitely yeah, so yeah. You know, that's another story. That's, a, that's another that. story. <laughs> <laughs> that's another story. <laughs> So over the summer, you worked on your off-season conditioning. I see you bulked up. So yeah. how is that really going to benefit you in, in this conference? Um, you know, you know, the Big East is, is is a bully league, you know, sometimes. And it's definitely going to help me just be able to help me finish with, with contact. You know, not that I did a bad job of that, but it's going to make me be that much better. Um, being able to take a hit, it's going to help me on defense, you know, because it's a lot of bumping and, and, and boxing out that be, that wears you down during the game's course. And just being able to get that extra weight on, that extra muscle is going to help me. Now you got two McDonald's All Americans coming here. With yeah. Coming in, Rocky. Yeah. Christmas, you know, Christmas came for Syracuse. Yeah, and, Christmas and came. And MCW with uh, Michael Carter Williams. Yeah. How can they make an immediate impact? Um, you know, and before I even answer that question, I just got to throw Trevor Cooney out there as well. You know, he, he those two are McDonald's All Americans, but Trevor Cooney has definitely been putting his work in. Mm -hmm. And um, I just want to give him a big shout out because he's been doing really well for us. You know, and from pickups to now the first couple of practices, he's been really showing out. Mm -hmm. And uh, but those two guys that you mentioned, MCW and, and Christmas, man, they're, you know, Rakeem, first of all, he could play the four or the five for us. He's 6'10, 6 6'11. 6 Tremendous wingspan, big hands. Um, he could change a lot of shots on the defensive end, block a lot of shots, uh, and rebound. He rebounds really well. And on the offensive end, you know, you know, he can run that pick and roll, and scoop could throw the ball up to the sky, and he'll go catch that thing. So, you know, it's it's it's, it's a, yeah, yeah, it's it's exciting to see. Um, and Michael Carter Williams, you know, he he helps. He's long. He could help us at the top of the zone. Um, he's a student of the game. You know, he's always one of those guys that's asking me questions about. We'll be in the cold tub, uh, you know, after a long days of workouts, and he'll be asking me questions about, you know, what should I do to to better myself at, at that position, or you know, and I and I appreciate that. I can respect that of a player that wants to just keep learning, even when they're not on the court. Um, Brandon Roy type of player. Brandon Roy type yeah. of player. That's exactly what he is, and um, I, I I respect them all. All our freshmen, you know, I, I grab them, I put them under my wings, and I'm just going to lead those guys in the right direction. Wow, uh, and uh, one more question for you. Uh, uh, how do you want to stamp your legacy, Syracuse Lord? You know, I want to I want to go out on top. You know, this is my this is my my last year in the Big East. You know, I'm a senior. This is potentially Syracuse's last year in the Big East. Um, I just want to I just want to go out on top, and uh, you know, just just have no regrets. I don't ever want to be able to look back and say I didn't do everything in my power to go out on top. You know, when I look back at my career here at Syracuse University, I want to be able to say that I did everything in my power. You know, to be the player that I've become and and be happy with it and be satisfied. So that's what I want to do. You know, speaking of the last season of Big East, um, what are your thoughts on them going to the ACC? I mean, 
they're big and staple. You know? Yeah. Um, you know, for me, you know, the instant thought, you know, the gut feeling, I just felt, you know, um, a lot of a lot of sadness, you know, just because even though it doesn't affect me none, just the fact that the ones who come after me won't be able to experience, you know, the, the biggest tournament at the Garden. Um, but, you know, that being said, new rivalries will rise between Syracuse, Duke, and North Carolina that that are going to be just as exciting to watch. So, you know, as an alumni, me coming back, I'll be excited to go, to go watch those games at the Dome because I can imagine it, you know, breaking, breaking records. That is true. Absolutely. Breaking those, those attendance yeah. records. Yeah, oh, breaking boy. those attendance records, man. <laughs> it hit 40,000. It might. It might. <laughs> So much Thank you. Time. Thank Good you for having me. Thank you. Definitely. Always a pleasure.